As you've probably figured out, I'm extremely passionate about marine conservation. And little known fact, I'm actually a qualified marine scientist. So when I found out I was travelling to Lady Elliot Island at the southern tip of the Great Barrier Reef, I was just a little bit excited. The reef is visually chaotic and astoundingly beautiful. It looks strong and robust, but in actual fact, it's really fragile. The issues facing the Great Barrier Reef, they're happening right now. It's not a problem for the future, so we need to start protecting it today. I'm here to find out exactly why a global beauty brand is so invested in biodiversity. Garnier, a household name and part of the L'Oreal Group, has taken a particular interest in our reef. A really high volume of our ingredients actually come from nature, so that is really why we've had such a long-standing commitment to biodiversity and to broader sustainable development outcomes. You know, the biodiversity crisis is so significant now that companies like ourselves, we need to go beyond our own footprint and we need to start regenerating and restoring degraded landscapes, you know, beyond our own backyard. Before I tell you the innovative way L'Oreal and its Garnier brand are helping to restore the reef, here's a brief refresher on why coral reefs are so important. Even though they only comprise about 1% of our oceans, they actually give birth to more than a quarter of all marine species. They act as important refuge, um, also breeding grounds and feeding grounds for many types of marine animals. And in addition to this, they also provide storm protection, food security and livelihoods for more than one billion people around the world. What are the challenges facing coral reefs? They face a lot of challenges, but mainly climate change and biodiversity loss. And without urgent and bold action, 90% of global coral reefs are predicted to die by 2050. Climate change is causing more frequent and severe extreme weather events. During the summer of 2023-24, the reef experienced multiple cyclones, flash flooding, and also a marine heat wave that caused widespread coral bleaching. It underlined the need for urgent action. Within the L'Oreal Group, we have Garnier, which is our leading natural mass market beauty brand with a commitment to greener beauty for everyone. So it made perfect sense that Garnier was going to partner with the Great Barrier Reef Foundation on its planned coral project. The project started in 2023 to disperse 500,000 baby corals on damaged parts of the Great Barrier Reef using a really pioneering method called coral IVF. Coral IVF is a fantastic method of coral restoration which harnesses the natural phenomenon of the coral reef's mass spawning event. And so coral IVF is about harnessing this event, collecting the coral sperm and eggs, and then rearing them in these inflatable nurseries known as larvae pools. And then once they've been reared into coral larvae, where they've got a higher chance to survive and develop as corals, they're deployed onto reefs. Researching these vulnerable ecosystems is really expensive, and it's partnerships like this that are vital to provide the funding to protect our environment for the future. Any type of reef restoration does require resources, partnerships and collaboration. So even in this small area, we can see the, the biodiversity here um, on Lady Elliot Island. They have supported 500,000 coral babies to be deployed on um, coral reefs that need a little extra assistance with reef recovery. Garnier is so passionate about the Plant a Coral project, it's using it as an opportunity to engage and involve all of us. We have a commitment that all of our brands must mobilise you know, their consumers and customers to take action on an issue that's important to them. And the focus of the partnership was really to engage consumers on this journey of coral conservation and restoration. In 2023, we partnered with one of our biggest retail partners, Coles. For every Garnier product purchased, we planted a coral on damaged areas of the Great Barrier Reef. For us, it was a no-brainer to partner with the Great Barrier Reef Foundation. It's something that's really ingrained in the brand's values. So doing nothing is just not an option. Garnier is on a very deliberate journey to be a more sustainable brand. It's something marketing director Alex Backham is very proud of. From the circular sourcing of our ingredients to the naturality of our product formulas, 
to the sustainability of our production plants, to the recyclability of our products and point of sale materials. We're working towards a goal of being completely virgin plastic free by 2030. Our um, sheet masks are biodegradable in home compost. Garnier's sustainability drive has also impacted its product development. In 2021, the brand was approved under the Leaping Bunny program run by Cruelty Free International as having no cases of animal testing in its supply chain. And to finally get this was a, a really big deal for Garnier and obviously we're, we're super proud of that. The Great Barrier Reef remains a priority for beauty brand Garnier after their support in 2023 led to the disbursement of 500,000 baby corals. This year, they're raising the bar, aiming to disperse a total of 700,000 baby corals. It's really inspirational to know that these larger companies are taking sustainability seriously. Globally, the L'Oreal Group has also invested in the Great Barrier Reef Foundation through its Fund for Nature, which is a 50 million euro impact investment fund dedicated to supporting projects that restore degraded environments. The investment in the Great Barrier Reef Foundation is the fund's first investment in a marine project. We feel we have a huge responsibility to lead the way and really lead by example on this. I think it's so important that companies understand that we wouldn't be able to operate unless we really protect the beautiful natural environment that we're so lucky to get to experience every single day. Honestly, I'm really hopeful for the reef. With the advancements that we're making, I, I'm really hopeful that we can help corals adapt and we can safeguard coral reefs for future generations.